As we say goodbye to the Premier League for another season, with Arsenal exceeding expectations once again, here at Civil Conversation, we've decided to do a Mourinho and park the bus on the journey across the Premier League until the season restarts. But fear not, with the Euros just around the corner, we thought we'd bring you some videos presenting the history and engineering, where we can find some, of some of the venues which will host matches. So let's get into it, and we're starting in Budapest to do the Pushkas Arena. We begin our story just after World War II, and as Hungary was just at the start of its flirting with communism, the government wanted to build a new national stadium so everyone could marvel at the national team. Who was probably the greatest team to never win a World Cup, losing the 1954 final to the pesky Germans. But before that World Cup disappointment, work on the stadium started in 1948 and was finished in 1953, having a capacity of 100,000 spectators. The ground would take the name of the People Stadium, built by the people for the people, as it was constructed by a significant amount of volunteers. The stadium would be the site of England's worst ever performance. No, not that game against Iceland. Well, the only thing that they have got is the big boy up front, Sigurdsson, who really, Sig Thorson, Oh, oh my words. My oh. Tell us, talk us through that, Steve. I think we know what's happened, but talk us through it. But a 7 1 thumping by the Hungarians in 1954. In 2002, the stadium would be named after Hungary's greatest ever footballer, Ferenc Puskas, who was part of the team in the 1954 final. However, just like all old stadiums these days, plans were made to demolish the stadium and build a brand spanking new one. But given the old one, has that arch nemesis of West Ham, a ghastly athletics track. You got the job on the technicality of a legend who recommended you. You are nothing, you are a fool, and you are a waste of time. Good night. I can't really blame them. Demolition of the stadium began in 2016, and construction on the new stadium commenced in 2017. And by 2019, the stadium had been transformed into this beauty having a capacity of 67,000 spectators and a total bill of over 500 million euros. The stadium opened on the 15th of November 2019 with a match showcasing Hungary against Uruguay. However, the Uruguayans obviously didn't read the script as they would beat Hungary 2-1. The stadium is to host three matches within Group F of Euro 2020, a rather tasty group with the likes of France Germany, Portugal, and of course Hungary, battling it out for a last 16 place. It's going to be naughty. Someone's getting knocked the fuck out, 100%, 100%. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider hitting that subscribe button and join us as we carry on meeting the Euro 2020 stadiums. This has been a civil conversation and I will see you in the next video.